Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about the dot git keep file. Now, here's the problem. Git will not push empty directories to a remote Git repository. So what people do is they put a fake file in their empty files called dot git keep. Git thinks there's something in there, and so it will then push that empty directory to the remote repository. Now the only thing is the directory is not empty because it's actually got a file in it named dot git keep. But it's kind of a unwritten convention. It tricks Git and everybody that's using Git kind of understands what you're doing. Now I'm going to show you a git keep example in just a second, but I do want to point out dot git keep is not part of the Git framework. It's not part of the API, it's not part of the standard. So dot git ignore is, you know, so you'll see the dot git folder is where all the configuration is for git. So all of those things are part of the git tool. Dot git keep, you know, it's kind of like the hidden menu at in and out burger. Everybody kind of knows about it, but it's really not officially there. So Git won't push empty folders up to GitHub or share them for that matter to any other directory. And I could show you that simply by copying this Git URL for the GitHub made easy project that I've got here up on GitHub. I got a temp folder here and I'm gonna clone that repository. So I'll do a little Git bash, say, hey Git, I want you to clone that repo, paste it in, and then you can see very quickly this repo is cloned. There's the new file. There's the readme, the same as these right here. And I can move into that directory, do a little ls, and then you can see those files right there. Now, watch what happens if I, you know, touch a hello.html file and then also make a new directory. So I've touched that file. So I just created a basic hello.html file. And I also created a new directory here. I'm going to do the git add, and then I'm going to do a git commit. And then I'm going to do the old git push to origin. And just allow me to put my username and password in here. And now watch what happens. Everything gets pushed up, but some things don't get pushed up. So if I do a refresh over here, you can see hello was pushed. I created that file just to prove that things were being pushed up, but that new directory is not pushed up. And the rule is Git will not push empty directories. So let me move into that folder, new directory. There's nothing in it. But I can do a little touch, then you can just create this file any way that you want and say touch git keep. And if I go into this folder here, you'll notice there's a file named git keep. This isn't a git specific file. This is kind of evolved from the community as a convention, uh, but there's nothing specific about this. Uh, however, the rule with git is, it, is that any folder that has a resource in it will get pushed to other Git repositories. So if I now do a Git commit, or do a Git add, gotta do the right commands, then do a Git commit, and then do a Git push to origin, put in my password, then all of a sudden that folder will get pushed. And so I've got the new directory here. I've got the git keep right there. And if I come over to GitHub, do a quick refresh, all of a sudden I've got the new directory and I've got the dot keep in there. And so there you go. That's how you can use git keep to make sure that your new folders, empty folders, get pushed to other git, GitHub or GitLab repos. And there you go. That's how the git keep file works. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the server side.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great git, GitHub, and tutorials on anything that has to do with enterprise software development, really. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.